Good morning. It is 4.03 in the morning, and we woke up about 15 minutes ago. And the reason that we're up so early is because we're going to be going on a hot air balloon ride this morning, hopefully, if the weather holds out. I am just beyond excited. This is a dream for me because when we were researching Cappadocia, the hot air balloons were like 260 euros per person and we decided that was just completely out of our budget but when we got here our host was like no it's only 150 euros per person and that was like my upper limit for a hot air balloon ride and what we could spend this is one of the main reasons i came to turkey and i had really resigned myself to the fact that this wasn't going to happen and we were just going to hike to a viewing point where we could happily watch the balloons. And I had just accepted that. But this is just making my life because I came to Turkey, basically. I would have been happy with Istanbul, Ephesus, and Cappadocia, the quintessential hot air balloon ride. And I can't believe that it's going to happen.
is insane. I I can't even believe that that just happened. And like, maybe it's just the adrenaline, the lack of sleep, don't know what, but honestly, it's just been, that entire experience was incredible. Yeah. It was incredible. It was just so magical. Yeah. And I think it was because I didn't think we were going to get to do it. I just, the views are breathtaking. I'm sure the viewpoint would have been amazing, but we got to see Rose Valley, Pigeon Valley, Love Valley. You just get this incredible aerial bird's eye view of the entire area and all of the fairy chimneys and the colors of the balloons and the sky contrasted against the rock. Yeah, we were told. Oh my God. Yeah, we were told that there were like a hundred other balloons up in the sky at once, which was crazy, but with the altitude that you managed to get, you can see as far as like some of the tallest volcanoes and mountains in the country. It's a, it's crazy to think about. And honestly, yeah, like from what we've seen of Turkey so far, I already kind of came to the conclusion this country is a beautiful one as well worth visiting, but seeing this area from up there just gives me a whole new appreciation for the, the entire thing. Just incredible. I just don't have many words. I'm kind of still awestruck, and this is probably one of the best days of my life. Me too. Thank you, babe. Thanks for letting me do this. hotel room after just a spectacular all-round experience really i could happily do that every morning <laughs> yeah i would happily wake up at 3 45 to get a 4 15 shuttle to I'd, get in a hot air balloon i'd adjust my rhythm for that definitely. no problem exactly believe it or not that wasn't actually the first opportunity that i've ever had to have a hot air balloon ride i think when my family were um on holiday somewhere in europe i think we might have been france or something there was an opportunity to go up but i think there were only two spots or like my mum didn't feel comfortable or wanted to take care of me or something like that but anyway either way it meant that my dad and my brother ended up going up meanwhile my mum and i stayed on the ground because i was just too young and needed looking after so i ended up missing out but honestly at that age, I probably would not have appreciated the experience at all. So definitely this has shaken out so much better now that I'm at a point where I can definitely appreciate it so much more. And also, you know, get to do it with this one's all right as well. So I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me do this. Thanks for letting me do this. This is awesome. I know that... It's a lot of money, mm -hmm. but I think that for me, this was one of my bucket list. I feel like obviously we are doing things on a budget, but like in my head, I've kind of partitioned off just sort of once in a lifetime experiences mm -hmm. as being a separate budget altogether, which yeah. is almost like unlimited. So if it comes to something of that kind of scale, that kind of magnitude that you're only going to ever do once, then just throw money at it. As long as it's reasonable, of course, don't go crazy because the prices that we saw online were probably about twice what we ended up paying per person. So do it smartly, do it economically, but basically no matter what company you go through, how you get it booked, whatever, it's still just incredible and something you should never miss out on. It was a thousand percent worth it. Mm -hmm. Just spectacular and once in a lifetime. A hundred percent. I can't believe we just did that. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it is what time? Almost breakfast time. Our hotel starts serving breakfast in about, about 20. 20 minutes. Yeah. It's crazy to think that we've been up since 345 <laughs> and we got collected just before 415 and we're back at the hotel at 630. 
yeah, having had what already feels like a pretty full day. Yeah, like the hot air balloon ride was an hour. Yeah. I mean, obviously the whole experience was longer than an hour. By the way, we got picked up in like a really nice plush van. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, they give you some like champagne and juice mix to celebrate. Yeah. So they really do make it a whole experience. experience. Yeah. And the driver of the hot air balloon, I don't know if that's the right term. Pilot, I guess. Pi oh, pilot. Yeah. He will point out certain mountains and valleys and other important geographical. Yeah, just important sites. Yeah, things. important sites. So, yeah, yeah the views are just so magnificent. Cool. So cool. Uh, do it, do it. I don't know how we're going to top that now. I don't know. Have we already peaked? I hope not. I hope not, but like, this was definitely a 